YouTubers. I hope you're all doing well. On this episode of Vape On, I'm going to be doing a review on the Tesla SIGS Poker 218 Dual 18650 mod. So what we'll do, we'll head on down, we'll have a look what we get in the packaging, we'll check out the mod, and then we'll come back up and I'll take it for a test run and I'll give you my pros and cons on the mod. Alrighty Vapors, so this is the packaging you receive your Tesla SIGS Poker 218 in. As you can see, why it's called the 218 is because it has a max wattage of 218 watts, has circuit protections, made of a zinc alloy, and is the Army Camouflage Edition. So on the side here, it says Tesla SIGS, nothing, Tesla SIGS, and nothing. On the back, you will have a verification code scratcher, what's in the box, and its specifications. So the dimensions are 54.5mm by 88mm by 26mm. Wattage range, minimum of 7 watts and a max of 218 watts. USB is a 5 volt, 1.5 amp, weighs 200 grams and is a dual 18650. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll crack open the box and see what we have. So here we have the device, we'll check that at the moment once we check out the package. Alright, so in the package you receive a USB cable for charging the device and firmware updates, but I recommend not charging the device using this cable, just use an external charger. You get your quality control card. A battery safety card, so if any of your batteries look like this, just make sure they look like that. You don't want a short circuit or a vent. And you also receive your user manual. Alright, moving on to the device. This is a really nice looking mod. I love how sleek it is and this army camouflage finish on the Ace of Hearts really makes it look top notch. I love the design they've put on this. So on the front here, you'll have your fire button, you'll have a tactile on off switch, you'll have your little OLED display, your plus and minus keys and USB port. So the battery door situation, pop off with the nail. That's made of a zinc alloy as well. And you'll have a magnet top and bottom there. You have your typical battery sled. I'll pop a couple of batteries in it and I'll show you the chip. So the batteries fit in there pretty snug, nice and tight. No battery rattle, really good thing. Okay, so we'll flick her on. So you can turn it on and off using the, the switch or you can actually turn it on and off using the fire button as well. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Alright, so you get in the menu settings, it's three clicks of the fire button. And the first setting we'll have here is your resistance settings. So you can fine tune your resistance. And alongside that you'll have your resistance lock, so you can lock in your resistance. Next one here is your taste mode. So you'll have your normal, soft and hard and your user. So you can actually put a power curve in it if you want, but you can only do that with your Canthal mode. All right, we'll go back into the menu setting. All right, other settings are, here we go, so you can pick, uh, this is your output mode, so you have your Canthal, stainless steel, your nickel, your titanium, and then you'll have your temperature control mode as well. The other mode that we have here is a preset. So you go into this and you can make three separate presets. So if you have a particular way you'd like a particular Addy, Set your preset and then you don't have to muck around every time you put a different Addy on. You can just go straight to your preset and Bob's your uncle. Alright, that's really about it. What we'll do, we'll head back up. We'll take it for a test drive and I'll give you my pros and cons. So there you have it, the Tesla 6 Poker 218. Not a bad device. I'll start with my pros and I'll start with the cosmetic appearance. I really love these chrome buttons with the metal finish and this army camouflage on the Ace of, uh, Ace of Hearts, not the Ace of Spades. Really, really good. I love that. Really, really good. A plus in my books. Good work, Tesla SIGs. When it comes to the functionality of this device, I really love the fact that it has taste mode. It has soft, medium or hard and also has the user mode in Canthol. That's a real big plus for some people. They're going to love being able to change their power curve and the way it hits. I like just having it on hard, really does the job using the Profile Unity RTA. I will be doing a review on that shortly, so hit the notifications bell and stay in touch so you can see that review. Really, really good. Ramp up time. It's really, really quick. There's no mucking around there. When it comes to the cons for this device, the battery door. 
has a little bit of a wiggle. It's not too bad. It doesn't affect the functionality, so I don't mind too much when it comes to that. But some people might be a little bit annoyed by that. The one thing that does annoy me though is the tactile on off switch. If you use that tactile on off switch, as you can see here, I've got it set to 70 watts. If I turn that off and then turn that back on, it does say that it's at 70 watts, but the second you go to fire it, it'll come up saying new coil or same coil. Doesn't matter what button you press, it will reset the wattage back to 55 with this Addy on top. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Some people are really going to be annoyed about that, and I do find that a little bit annoying. You can get around that by just using the fire button, five clicks on, five clicks off. And there you go, that's all I can really say about this device. I do like this device. It is just another device that's out there. There is better devices out there. But anyway, it's it works, it does the job. There you go for this review. So if you like this review, hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna see more of my content, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on another episode of Ape On. Bye. Bye.